Welcome back to the Who's Yanks. Be able to know the Who's Yanks. We're talking Canada soccer and U.S. soccer. Tonight we're going to be talking about the draw for the U.S. Open Cup that just finished up. Actually, that didn't just finish up. It finished up quite a bit of time ago, but I'm going to be talking about it now. And yeah, I mean, we all know my key message and my key demand for this one before coming into this one was, what do we want? Derbies. When do we want them? Now. And looking at the post draw as a, as a whole, we, I kind of get, we get half and half. I kind of get what I wanted, but there's also some that I don't get at what I wanted. But from the looks of it, it's two out of three for me, and I'm happy with that. Two derbies out of the three derbies, major derbies of the MLS that I was calling for in the pre-video, and I get two out of three. I, I, I can live with that. Two out of three, that's really pretty good, t given how it's a draw, too. So with this, we're going to be breaking down each game. We're going to be starting in the Northeast. And doing each subsection and in each matchup and um, working our way to the West and talking about each of the final Sweet 16 teams that have made this um, round of 16 and are in. So, without further ado, let's go. In the first section, New York Red Bulls versus Charlotte SC. Yes, we did not get the New York Hudson River Derby maybe yet. You can put a apostrophe yet to yet as should New York and New York City FC win their games. They can play each other in the quarterfinals, which that'll probably make for a fun derby matchup and is in the quarterfinals. But as it stands, Sweet 16, New York Red Bulls, Charlotte Football Club. Um, I mean, this one sucks. No New York derby, but hey, I can live with this one given how we are granted two other derbies out of the three major ones that I wanted. I would, I would take this one. You can't always get what you want. But I'll take this one. If it, if I had to sacrifice one of the derbies, it sucks. But I mean, I'll take this one. Uh, any derby's good, but New York Red Bulls playing Charlotte FC that should be an interesting matchup. Once again, Charlotte being one of the teams that don't belong, are in my opinion, in the Northeast, given how this should be Louisville City. But as I said, I don't make the teams in the regions. I just critique them and judge. So New York Red Bulls hosting. And it will be at, um, I think, MUS Stadium. It will not be at Red Bull Arena, but it will be um, it will be at another stadium. And round 16, Charlotte FC, once again, for their quest, an opportunity to prove themselves and keep this historic run alive. And should they win, we will not have a New York Derby in this uh, matchup. So we'll keep our eyes on Red Bulls and Charlotte and see which team advances, but... That's your first matchup in the Northeast, and hopefully no games overlap, given how, um, you know, it's like we have eight games left, and it's not like the wild 16 or 10 that we had to watch all at once yesterday. So let's see how this, let's see how the scheduling goes. Hopefully every single game will be watchable and will not run concurrent with one another. But it's an all-MLS matchup in the first one. New York versus Charlotte should be a good game, and we'll see details of that as to come. Next game, NYCFC and New England Revolution, maybe a derby, Boston, New York City. Then again, I talked about this in my pre-video, I was like, I don't know if you can really call this a derby, but it is a rematch of the MLS Cup 2021, where New York City defeated the New England Revolution in penalties. Uh, New England was hosting at Gillette Stadium, but this time New York City is hosting somewhere in their stadium, so we'll see how that is, so. By the way, we already knew it was not going to be a Hudson River Derby once New York Red Bulls and New York CFC were both hosting their own home games. And, I mean, both teams have home advantage here and a chance to play each other in the New York Derby um, should they cross paths in the quarterfinals. But New England Revolution coming off a beating from Cincinnati, taking it 5-1 to them. And New York City uh, beating an in-state foe, Rochester FC, from New York 3-1. This should make for a tasty matchup. We got New York City versus, you know, the rematch, as I said. And a chance for New York City to book their spot in the quarterfinals of the U.S. Open Cup. And, I mean, my favorite, by the way, my favorite American team. We'll see how they do against the New England Revolution. But that should be a good game. So, we'll see how that is. Hopefully, both teams win out so we can have a Hudson River Derby in the quarterfinals. I'm cheering for New York Red Bulls and against Charlotte. And New York City gets revolution just for the sake of robbery. But hey, U.S. Open Cup, anything can go. So 
We'll see. Then we jump down to our southeast region. We have Orlando City SC and Inner Miami SCF. Yes, yes, the Florida Derby is back in the U.S. Open Cup. Finally, one of the rivalries I get that I want. And boy, this rivalry is going to be fun. Orlando City looks like they're hosting, and it might be at Exploria Stadium. And please, I hope the fans pack this. And I mean, another reason why I forgot to mention, why do I like rivalry so much in the U.S. Open Cup? Well, it's a chance to also boost attendance for many of the clubs. I mean, you got rivalries. They're games, derby games. They're games that people are obviously going to want to see and watch. And they're going to boost attendance, maybe. As well as even for the U.S. Open Cup and U.S. Soccer, they're going to bring in more profit revenue, depending on how many people are brought in. So why wouldn't you want to see more derby matches? As well as it makes more fun midweek games to look forward to. So it's all around good, in my opinion. But, hey, I mean, somebody else can disagree. But nonetheless, we have a derby matchup. The Lions versus... The Herons, it should be fun as always, and um, yeah, I'm really, I'm definitely gonna be watching this game. I'm probably, gonna, I'm gonna watch all of them, but this game, obviously, one of the Derby games. Finally, we get one of our wishes, uh, one of the main MLS Derby matches um, that has even recently just been uh, new or created. We get our wish to them, so. This should be fun, and we gotta keep an eye on that, see how they do. So, that's that. And then for Louisville City and Nashville SC, we got that down in the southeast bottom corner. And it's a MLS versus interleague Louisville City SC. And um, it should be a fun one to watch as well. We got Louisville at home. They're hosting Nashville SC. And big time club. Nashville SC just coming off, knocking off the defending champions, Atlanta United. And they're going to Louisville City, and we'll see how Louisville will play them. You know Louisville's going to be hungry for another cup set, as well as to advance by the quarterfinal. So they will play the winner of the Florida Derby. Winner of the Florida Derby, by the way, carries the stick to Florida. Should be a fun game there. But Louisville, Nashville. Um, Nashville, curious to see how they do against Louisville City. Which, in my opinion, maybe you could have swapped Charlotte and Louisville. And had Louisville playing the New York Red Bulls, but I, as I said, I'm, I'm gonna try and move away from that. As it's done, it's done and dusted. This is what we got. But Charlotte and Nashville would have made another brilliant rivalry, uh, especially for that. That would have been a fun game to look forward to. But hey, we already got one. We got two, matter of fact, which we're gonna cover. But you know, can't always get what you want. But hey, Louisville versus Nashville, that's pretty great in my opinion. So, that's your eastern side of the bracket. Then we move to our central side. We have Sporting Kansas City versus I mean, Houston Dynamo. Um, as I said, this was part of the bracket. I didn't care who got who because there's no rivalries, major rivalries here. So, any of this is free game in my opinion. Sporting KC hosting Houston Dynamo. That should make for a little interesting MLS on MLS matchup. Um, looking forward to that as well as over there. And we'll see how the Houston Dynamo do, as they're the only Texan team left in this tournament. Sporting KC coming off um, a massive comeback, uh, coming from two down, beating SC Dallas 4-2 in extra time. We'll see how they do, and they're hosting at home. And they will play the winner of Minnesota United and Union Omaha. This is one I was talking about. I was talking about Minnesota and Omaha, maybe a little regional rivalry, but it's, inter it's interleague for sure, but I don't even know if there's a rivalry. But... It's an interleague matchup for sure. Um, should be a fun one. Minnesota versus Union Omaha. Uh, it looks like that's a bird. I, I, I think that, yeah, I think that's an owl. And we, if so, we have a battle of the birds. Minnesota loons versus the owls. This should be a fun one to watch. Of course, Union Omaha still living off their Chicago Fire upset. And yeah, this should be incredibly fun to watch. Minnesota it looks like they're hosting at home. And... Um, it should be incredibly fun. I'm really, really looking forward to that. Well, winner of those games will play winner of that and, and the quarterfinals. And so we'll see how that matches up. And then we have, you know, we jump down to our uh, California, basically, our California conference. They call it West, but we all know it's California. Yes, 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 yes. We finally got the main one. And this is why I'm so happy 
that the draw overall is really good for me as well as many other people. We got what we want. Say it loud, El Trafico. We finally got it. LA Galaxy will be hosting LASC, Los Angeles Football Club. Finally, yes, it was overdue. I really want to see these two teams match up again. Bring back, hopefully they are going to play, Chitarito versus Carlito Vela. Bring them back, and it looks like LA Galaxy will be hosting. Yes, this is the other Derby game I said I wanted. Um, out of the two, so out of the three, so yeah, I mean, I'm so happy. Finally, LA Galaxy gets an LAFC. We get El Trafico in the U.S. Open Cup. Everybody's gonna be watching this game for sure. I mean, cause why not? And I'm pretty sure. Um, I hope this game doesn't conflict with any of the concurrent games like Sacramento and San Jose. By the way, the next one we're gonna talk about it more in depth after this. But El Trafico finally. A major, major rivalry, arguably the best major, uh, the best rivalry in MLS. I mean, you can dispute that with Cascadia and Portland, Timber, I mean, yeah, Portland and Seattle, or Seattle, Vancouver, any of the Cascadian teams. It can be disputed with any of the Southern uh, rivalries, Florida Derby, uh, Texas Derby. It can be disputed with TFC and Montreal up here in Canada. But yes, LA Galaxy, El Trafico, LA, LAFC. We get them all. We get them both. And winner of that, we'll play another Californian team and we'll potentially set up another rivalry with, as I said, Sacramento Republic hosting the San Jose Earthquakes. And this is also another kind of rivalry. It's a NorCal rivalry. So we got the SoCal rivalry and we got the NorCal rivalry. I love this group. I love the California group. I mean, this is by far my favorite of this whole group, of the whole tournament. This group is rightfully done. Um, Sacramento Republic... San Jose Earthquakes. Um, I think San Jose is already trying to look for a new name to call this. Sacramento Public, of course, hosting interleague play. MLS versus USL. Um, I think San Jose is trying to call it the Hellas Derby or some other name for the Derby. I'm not going to assume it, but it is a NorCal Derby. Arguably, if you want to include a, a rivalry, this is just, we got three out of four Derbies that, out of the uh, possible ones possible. So, I'm happy with this one too. I mean, if it was not going to be El Tropico, I would really want to see um, Cali Classico. But even then, I prefer El Tropico over Cali Classico. Maybe we'll get Cali Classico in the quarterfinals. But for sure, we're going to have some kind of rivalry potentially in the quarterfinals. Rather, Sacramento upsets San Jose. And Chris still has a NorCal versus SoCal. So we're going to get something from the California sides. And it looks like we're going to have a California side that's guaranteed all the way to the semifinals. So, California really showing their true colors. And, yeah, that pretty much does it. And that's pretty much all I got to say. And, yeah, seeing rivalries like the Florida Derby, uh, El Cl uh, Trafico, and even the little derby between Sacramento and San Jose, that puts a major smile on my face. And finally, I get what I want, as well as maybe other people finally get what they want, too. But, yes, Derbies. Love to see them. But that pretty much is all I got to say. I'm really satisfied with this draw compared to the last draw. And we got some fun games to look forward to whenever they play in the Sweet 16. So if you like this video, make sure you like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about it. Make sure you hit the bell notification when your video is uploaded or posted. And also tell your friends, we've got Darby's. El Trafico and the Florida Darby and even the NorCal Darby between San Jose and um, Sacramento Republic.